Hi, and welcome back to another Magical Voxel Quick Cuts. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to easily create a turntable style render in Magical Voxel. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're in Magical Voxel now, and let's say you've finished your object. You can go over to Render, and after you configure your light settings, you want to make sure to turn on this. So yeah, Emma. MIS, MIS, and TR Shadow, just have those selected. And then over here in the Matters section, navigate to this last icon for image, and you select Turntable. And here you'll get a list of options to change. So you want, for a smooth, crisp um, turntable style render, you want to select frames to 60. And what this will essentially do is create 60 different um, separate images of your scene uh, around 360 degrees so it will constantly take pictures until it reaches its um until it does a full 360 rotation if you don't want to do 360 rotation and you want to do it like let's say side to side like this you can probably set this to like 120 or something but i'm just gonna set it as a 360. so um, one thing to note is let's say my camera angle is set to here and I click render it would take images but it would like move like this and if I wanted it like more focused or let's say my camera is here it's going to rotate if you hold down mouse uh, your mouse right click button it's going to basically uh, render it like this and we don't really want that I want to focus it on the actual object so what you can do is go to model view and just Find where your object is. You select it. Oh, firstly, um, let's say you're in the editor view and you can actually like put blocks down. You can just press tab to go into this world view set setting and you press five on the keyboard, which focuses your camera to rotate around the middle of the object. So now it's actually rotating around this object. And you can just set an angle that you would like. So maybe like this is good and I can hit render so after you click render a new window should pop up and this is where you're gonna save your um, basically your images I would recommend making a new folder I'm just gonna call it rendered image or rendered images because if you don't make a new folder and just put it to say the desktop you're just gonna have 60 different images cluttering your desktop so I'll just make a new folder, make sure you're in the folder and just hit save. And it's going to start rendering each image. As you can see, once it starts moving, it's going to slowly take a 360 degree angle of your scene. Luckily, unlike the traditional render where you have to have the window open, to have the render bar continually going up you can do something else if you wanted to for instance i could work in blender or basically you can just do whatever you want and just wait for it to be done without having to have the magical voxel window open for the render so i'll come back once this is done once your images are done you can go to this site, which I will leave in the description, called Easy GIF. And you can go right here and click Select Files. Find where you saved your images. And select the first image and scroll down to the bottom. And hold Shift on the keyboard and left click the last image and just select all of them. Or you can just hit Control A. You get Open. And you see it's 60 files. You hit Upload and make a GIF. And this sh should be done relatively quickly, but it all depends on the quality of the images as well as the um, how many files there are. Once the images have all been loaded, you can go down here and have a little bit of customization. So if you want it to be slightly slower, you can put the delay time to like 10 or something it's by default set to 20 so i'm just gonna put it to 10 and down here you just hit make gif 
about 30 seconds or so after I clicked make GIF, um, the website gave me this GIF of all the 60 consolidated images. You can see it looks pretty good. Uh, there's obviously some effects you could do here if you want. You can increase the speed if you'd like. So if, for instance, this is too slow, you can, by default, just click change speed. And now the uh, turntable render is a lot faster. And if you're happy with it, you just click right here and it's saved. And this should save in your downloads folder, which you can uh, use to whatever you want. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully this tutorial has helped, and I'll see you in the next one.